I'm Deborah Borchardt, and this is your Marijuana Money Minute. Happy Juneteenth, everyone. We want you to know that at Green Market Report, we stand with the protesters, and we have made several donations to a variety of charitable organizations. No justice, no peace. Moving on, we have a lot of earnings to cover this week. M. Hardeen reported its full year results with $26 million in revenue, and this was down from $27 million in 2018. The company also reported a whopping net loss of $267 million. Fire and Flower reported that its first quarter fiscal 2020 revenue came in at $23 million. This was way better than last year's $9.5 million for the same time period. Multi-state operator Forefront Ventures reported its fourth quarter revenue increased 525% to $17.5 million over uh, last year. The 2019 revenue increased 786% to $31 million. Now the first quarter looks like it's increasing 36% to $23 million. High Tide reported that their results for the second physical quarter of 2020 came in at $19.5 million. That's up from $6.6 million for the same quarter last year. MedMen co-founder Adam Bierman stepped down from the company's board of directors. His co-founder, Andrew Maudlin, has stepped down as an observer to the board of directors. Black Tie CBD has filed a lawsuit against Tide Times. They were a sponsor of the Hemp Cup. The Hemp Cup got canceled due to COVID. They apparently fronted $25,000 as a sponsor and they have not gotten their money back despite High Times saying publicly that they were refunding all the sponsor money. And finally, Mitocene is quickly upping up its fungal authority. The mycology focused company, Mushrooms for you folks out there, signed an agreement with Applied Pharmaceutical Innovation which is the Commercial Drug Institute at the University of Alberta's Faculty of Pharmacy and Pharmaceutical Sciences. So this will help get them to the head of the line with regards to discoveries on mushrooms. And that's it for this week. I'm Deborah Borchart with the Green Marker Report.